in today's video, let's talk about the rocket bow. The 19th century was a significant era for firearms. During the years, many new firearms technologies were invented. In the last two videos, we have seen that ancient people pursued more powerful and better accurate firearms. Besides, the rifle was applied in the muskets more widely. The bullets were a very important part to improve the muskets. Compared with changing to a new type gun or modifying a musket from a smooth bore barrel to a rifled barrel, only changing bullets was an easier and a more economical way after all. So many inventions of a firearms tech were about the improvement of bullets. The rocket bow should be one of the new types of bullets in this wave. Before talking about this bullet, I think we can learn as inventor, Walter Hunt. In 1796, Hunt was born in Martinsburg, in Lewis County, in the state of New York. In 1826, Hunt traveled to New York City to get money for one of his inventions. Since he arrived in New York City, his inventor's life also started. If Thomas Edison could own the title of the King of Invention, Walter Hunt should also deserve this title as well. Because when we look back to his invention list, we can find that his invention could include the pen, nail making machine, sewing machine, paper shirt collar, or even the ice boat and the repeating gun. But his most famous invention might be the safety pin, which was invented in 1849. In 2006, because of the significance of the safety pin invention, Hunt was inducted into the inventor's Hall of Fame. Compared with his massive amount of inventions, his rocket bow had not been very outstanding. Unfortunately, Hunt was an excellent inventor, but not an excellent businessman. He created many useful things, and many of them had a very high commercial value. But because he always was busy making a living, he had to sell off most of his patent right to others at low prices with no future royalties, so he never became wealthy. The saddest point might be that Hunt didn't become wealthy, but others made millions of dollars only from one of his patents, such as the safety pin device. Now, in this chapter, let's focus on the bullets. Walter Hunt got the rocket bow patent in 1848. This year is also one to two years after the mini bow was born. So from this point, we can see Hunter should be a man who always can focus and find the new change and the new things in the world. Not only the most common living area, but also even the military area. From our modern time, people's eyes to see this bullet, actually, it had an avant-garde, but not really practical design. Because it was a kind of caseless ammunition, it was in the same family with the bullets of HKG-11. The special bullets of HKG-11 used a kind of special gunpowder, and this gunpowder was packed on the outside of the projectile in order to realize a cartridge with a caseless design. Compared with the HKG-11 bullets, which applied the newest material designs and the chemistry in the bullets, the rocket bow was simpler because basically all of the technology applied on the rocket bow was the existing tech in the 19th century. At first, the rocket bow had a conical shape, which was a popular bullet design in the middle part of the 19th century. But according to the original patent, the original rocket bow was a kind of hemispherical conical shape and the whole design was produced for the branch-loading firearms. Then the primary cap, which was similar to the cap of contemporary percussion lock muskets, was set on the tail of the rocket bow. The bow had a hollow, so the gunpowder could be put into here, and it made the whole cartridge smaller and more convenient than the paper cartridge in use. Plus, Strictly, the rocket bow might not be a 100% caseless cartridge because the user might still pull the bolt back to unload the primer cap from the chamber and at the same time 
this also is a step to load the next cartridge. In order to shoot this kind of new type bullet more smoothly, Hunt also created a new type repeating gun and he called it the Volition Rifle, which was also one of the first level action firearms to fit the new rocket bow. But just like his other inventions, the rifle also was not a successful in commerce. When the rocket bow was created, this kind of new bullet indeed provide a new design idea of making practical repeating firearms to the public, although it was not an ideal solution because the amount of gunpowder used was heavily dependent on the space volume of the inside hollow of the bow. So it resulted in the potential velocity and the range of the cartridge being limited. It says that the rocket bow was less powerful than even the most fable of modern pocket pistol cartridges, such as Pond 25 ACP. When we talk about the rocket bow, we must see the Volcanic Repeating Arms Company and their products, Volcanic Repeating Guns. So this video also is a chance for learning about this iconic firearm. So this time, let's take a look at it preliminarily. Because the original rocket bow and the new type repeating guns that were invented by Hunt were not perfect enough in 1855. Also, it's after Hunt invented the first rocket bow seven years. Horace Smith and Daniel Wilson formed the Volcanic Repeating Arms Company to continue developing Hunt's rocket bow and his level action repeating gun. Actually, after this moment, the rocket bow finally became a kind of useful bullet, but not the bullet that stayed in the experimental stage. Speaking of which, I believe you have found that the founder's name, Smith and Wilson. Yes, that's right. They were also the founders of Nordic Smith and Wilson Company, and the Volcanic Repeating Arms Company also was the former of the modern S&W Company. Finally, if you play the video game Red Dead Redemption 2, I believe you must remember there is a naval action pistol and this is a volcanic pistol. But in the years of Arthur and John in 1899, because the metallic cartridge was already the most popular cartridge in the world. So the volcanic pistol that was built in the years of RDR2, the metallic cartridge have replaced the rocket bows. Okay, this is today's video, and thank you for watching. Hope you can like this video. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.